In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on March 3rd, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Detroit Pistons vs. Orlando Magic On a Sunday night clash within the Eastern Conference, the Detroit Pistons are set to cross swords with the Orlando Magic. The Pistons are coming off a disheartening home defeat against the Cleveland Cavaliers, succumbing to a 110-100 score and failing to cover as 6.5-point underdogs. Meanwhile, the Magic secured a significant victory at home against the Utah Jazz, emerging triumphant with a scoreline of 115-107 and covering the 6.5-point spread as favorites. This matchup marks the fourth and final encounter between these teams in the current season with the Orlando Magic holding a commanding 3-0 series lead. In recent games, the Detroit Pistons find themselves in a precarious situation, having suffered defeat in seven of their last eight outings. Eager to stage a comeback after their 110-100 loss to the Cavaliers, the Pistons, led by Cade Cunningham with 21 points and 10 assists, aim to rejuvenate their performance. Additional contributions from Jaden Ivey, who added 18 points, and Isaiah Stewart, with 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks, weren't enough to counter the Cavaliers' onslaught. The Pistons struggled to find their rhythm, shooting a mere 37% from the field and 10 of 36 from the three-point line, trailing by as many as 26 points in the third quarter before a late fourth quarter surge brought them within seven points. On the opposing side, the Orlando Magic are riding a positive wave with five wins in their last six games. Fresh off a 115-107 victory against the Utah Jazz, where Paolo Banchero led the charge with 29 points, nine rebounds, and six assists, the Magic are poised for a third consecutive win. Jalen Suggs contributed 15 points, while Franz Wagner and Moritz Wagner each scored 14 points. The Magic shot an impressive 54% from the field and 10 of 30 from beyond the arc, engaging in a closely contested battle with the Jazz until a decisive 11-4 run in the final 142 secured the gritty home win. In recent matchups, the Pistons have demonstrated an ability to cover significant point spreads. In their most recent clash with the Magic on February 24, where they were eight-point underdogs, the Pistons narrowly lost by three points. Their recent form includes covering in three of the last four games, including an outright win against the Bulls as ten-point underdogs. In this matchup of two of the youngest teams in the league, the Pistons, now fully adjusted from their trade deadline deals, boast a formidable lineup with standout performers such as Cade Cunningham and the quietly impressive Jalen Duran, averaging 14 points per game and 12 rebounds per game. Duran's impactful performance of 16 points and 11 rebounds in the last encounter with the Magic is indicative of his potential to shine against the Magic's front court. The Pistons' ability to contain Paolo Banchero in their previous meeting suggests a targeted defensive strategy that could limit the young forward's production. The Pistons, having climbed out of the last place, are expected to keep this game closer than anticipated. So the Detroit Pistons to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. When analyzing the offensive and defensive averages of both teams over their last three games, the current season, and home away records, a projected score of 221 emerges. Incorporating the average pace of both teams at 101.7 possessions, the final projected score extends to 225. The expectation is for the Pistons to revert to their season pace of 104.1 possessions per game, as opposed to their recent slower pace of 99.7 possessions in the last three games. With these considerations, the outlook leans towards a higher scoring affair, making over the projected total our full game total pick. Charlotte Hornets vs. Toronto Raptors A duo of Eastern Conference teams, presently situated outside the playoff contention, step onto the court with aspirations of securing a crucial victory north of the border. The Charlotte Hornets embark on a road journey to face the Toronto Raptors on a Sunday evening encounter. In their most recent outing, Charlotte experienced a 121-114 defeat on the road against Philadelphia during a back-to-back -back set on Friday night. Despite the loss, the Hornets managed to cover the spread as a 12-point underdog. 
Simultaneously, Toronto faced a 120-105 defeat at home against Golden State, failing to cover the line as a three-point underdog. In the overall regular season series, both teams boast 48 victories each, but the Raptors have claimed two out of three meetings this season, including a 123-117 triumph on the road in their most recent clash on February 7. The Charlotte Hornets find themselves in a challenging stretch, having lost four of their last five games. Eager to break free from a three-game skid, they are reeling from a 121-114 road loss to the 76ers on Friday. Miles Bridges spearheaded the team's efforts with 27 points and 11 rebounds, supported by Nick Richards with 19 points and Davis Burton's contributing 14 points off the bench. Despite shooting 51% from the field and 14 of 33 from beyond the arc, the Hornets faltered when it mattered most. Most, scoring only two points in the final 159, allowing the 76ers to escape with a narrow victory. Meanwhile, the Toronto Raptors face their own struggles, having lost five of their last eight games and aiming to break a two-game skid after a resounding 120-105 defeat to the Warriors on Friday. R.J. Barrett led the Raptors with 23 points, but their collective effort fell short as they shot only 42% from the field and 12 of 45 from the three-point line, ultimately succumbing to a Warriors 24-7 run in the fourth quarter. While the Hornets exhibited flashes of their potential following recent trades, their current form reflects a cold spell with four losses in the last five games. Simultaneously, the Raptors continue to grapple with challenges, as evidenced by a lopsided defeat to the Warriors on Friday. The Raptors' struggles are further evident in their home record, standing at 12-18 straight up this season. Conversely, the Hornets have shown resilience, covering the spread in six of their last nine games. Additionally, the Hornets' recent encounter with the Raptors resulted in a close finish, with a mere six-point margin of defeat. Although the Raptors are deemed the superior team, the overwhelming numbers make them an unattractive choice. Consequently, while the Hornets are the pick here, the decision is more a reflection of skepticism towards the Raptors' recent performances than absolute confidence in the Hornets. So the Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Toronto had set higher expectations for the current season, but the trade deadline and a disappointing record prompted a rebuild, leading to the departure of key players such as Pascal Siakam and Og Ananobi. The absence of Scotty Barnes for an extended period adds to the Raptors' challenges, with considerations to potentially sit their all-star for the remainder of the season. Amidst these changes, both teams find themselves in the middle tier in terms of pace. The absence of Lemilo Ball has prompted Miles Bridges to adopt a more aggressive approach, becoming the primary scorer option for Charlotte. Having attempted 18 shots or more in four out of the last five games, Bridges has emerged as the Hornets' reliable offensive force. The Hornets have stayed under the mark in 31 of their 60 games this season, ranking 20th in the league in turnovers with an average of 13.7 per contest. Their pace, standing at 21st in the league with an average of 97.9 possessions per night, highlights their deliberate playing style. On the other hand, Toronto has seen a 31-29 mark in terms of the total this season, entering this game 15th in turnovers with an average of 13.4 per contest and 13th in pace with 99.3 possessions per night. Both teams grapple with offensive struggles, exacerbated by missing key players, making it unlikely for either team to produce a high-scoring game. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Knicks vs. Cleveland Cavaliers The New York Knicks, holding the fourth spot in the Eastern Conference, are set to face off against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are currently second on March 3rd. The Knicks are coming off a tough 110-99 loss against Golden State, while the Cavaliers secured a win over Detroit with a score of 110-100. The New York Knicks have encountered a challenging stretch, losing seven of their last nine games overall. Eager to break free from a two-game losing streak, they faced a formidable opponent in the Warriors, succumbing to a 110-99 loss on Thursday. Jalen Brunson led the team in scoring with 27 points and five assists, while Don Di Vincenzo contributed 16 points off the bench. Josh Hart provided additional support with 14 points, 18 rebounds, and seven assists. However, the Knicks struggled with a 36% shooting accuracy from the field and a 1-2 of 3-9 performance from beyond the arc. 
Their offensive struggles were evident, especially after falling into a 17-point deficit in the opening quarter. On the flip side, the Cleveland Cavaliers are experiencing a resurgence, clinching three victories in their last four games. Riding the wave of momentum, they secured a convincing 110-100 road win against the Pistons on Friday. Darius Garland spearheaded the team's effort with 29 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, complemented by Evan Mobley's 22 points, 17 rebounds, and 7 assists. The Cavaliers dominated from the start, shooting 39% from the field and 18 of 41 from the three-point line. Despite easing up in the fourth quarter, they maintained control, leading by as many as 26 points in the third quarter. The Knicks remain undermanned with Julius Randle and Og Ananobi sidelined, while the Cavaliers closely monitored the questionable status of Donovan Mitchell and Karis LeVert. Even in the potential absence of Mitchell, Cleveland has consistently demonstrated resilience, relying on standout performances from players like Darius Garland and Evan Mobley, boasting a defensive strategy limiting opponents to just 110 points per game and offensive efficiency averaging 115 points per game. The Cavaliers present a formidable challenge. Selecting the Cleveland Cavaliers as the victors in this matchup is grounded in their impressive defensive record and the depth of their roster. While lineup confirmation is advisable before tip-off, the Cavaliers, even without Mitchell, appear to be the stronger team at the moment. Thus, the Cleveland Cavaliers to win and cover the spread his favorite stands as our full game side pick. Both teams have displayed a propensity for lower scoring contests, with the Knicks grappling with offensive hurdles due to current injuries. This matchup is poised to unfold as a defensive battle, making the under a compelling betting choice, aligning with the strategic and defensive focus of both the Cleveland Cavaliers and the New York Knicks. Given the defensive prowess of both teams, with the Cavaliers allowing an average of 110 points and the Knicks at 110 points per game, under the projected total emerges as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.